Hi, this is Apocalypse 706, and this is my first tutorial video on Minecraft version 1.0.0. It's just been released about a week and a half ago, and I just got it today. And this is a brand new world, just uploaded it right now. And I'm here to show you all the new two Minecraft players about this wonderful game and how to survive in this world and learn pretty much everything that you need to know how to survive and play your own game alright so I don't know nothing about this world here it's the sun I don't know nothing about this world just created it just now but before nightfall comes because that's when all the monsters come out make sure my difficulty is set on normal Alright, and first thing, we got a tree, so we're going to want to gather wood. And wood, pretty much, is the basics of everything that you're ever going to need to play the game. So try to collect as much wood as you can, beginning around. Shave off the leaves, why not? Maybe we'll get lucky enough, drop the sapling replant that later on. I see. There we go. And we got a sapling. Now this is tall grass. Before you whenever hey, we just got some seeds, which is good. Which is what you're gonna need if you're gonna wanna farm wheat. Okay. So let's explore it. So, I'm guessing I got an island map, <laughs> especially with the random seed I never pretty much use. I just don't mind what seed I get. So, after this tree, I'll show you how to make your first tool, which will make things much easier. So you open up your inventory, drag all your wood blocks. Wood planks are much more useful than the wood itself has much more uses. Slight lag there, sorry about that. So you go to your crafting table and you place your sticks pretty much into the shape of the weapon or the tool that you're going to make. And then right here we're going to make the axe so you can sort of see from the picture here, you know, the blade sort of and then the handle. And then wooden tools are not the best but you got to work with what you have so far. So we're just going to collect this wood over here. And then you'll notice the big difference of how fast we were hitting with our hands, like right now. It's much, much better with the wooden axe. still have a lot of time before nightfall hits. Don't really want to be outside when all the mobs come out at us. Why not gather any seeds that I can? So now, since we have a pretty decent amount of wood, we're going to try and focus more on making our shelter. And good thing I noticed we had a small cave opening over there where we spawned, so I'm just gonna go grab my table, which I have no idea where I left it. Oh, there it is. Pick up the sapling. Then we're gonna wanna be able to mine some stone or a cobble, 
because if you mine that stone, you actually get a cobble. Once we make a furnace, you'll be able to place a cobblestone in there, and then it turns it into this smooth stone, or stone, however you want to call it. So, I'm just going to push back some of this dirt. Then, place our crafting table. And then now we'll be able to mine all this. So pretty much the basic tools as well as weapons are the pickaxe, which I have in my hand right now the axe that I was already using to cut down trees then there's a shovel which we can make right now and this is for dirt, gravel, and sand picks them up much much quicker but as I said before wooden tools are the lowest grade of tools that you can get, so not the best tools, but they're you know, they're worth something to us right now at the moment. Okay, how much time? All right. So now we can begin digging into the wall. So we could have small shelter to begin with. And we broke to the other side. <laughs> Build that block up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not too sure how far this will go, so I'll probably keep going up until I hit daylight. Yeah, this should be good right now. Now, collect our table. Now, another important item that you need to find is coal which you can mine pretty much in rock faces so if we were able to find coal that would be pretty good that way I can tell what time it is go over here and then now I'll be making a sword actually let's make a stone sword now that we actually have cobble we can make more stone tools pick up our sticks Start mining our floor away. I'll leave that for steps. So pretty much, if I wanted to do this by hand, it would take much, much longer, as you see. And I don't believe I would get anything in return. Yeah, I didn't get nothing in return. So you do need pick. You do need a pick if you want to mine stone. So I decided to get into YouTubing mainly because one, I love the game, and two, I don't mind. I actually want to help out new gamers out there that just been introduced into the game. But the number one YouTuber that actually 
gave me all the instructions and helped me out to achieve what I know and to get as far as I did because this isn't my first world, I have many other worlds it's just my first tutorial world that I'm actually doing right now but the YouTuber that actually helped me out a lot is Paul Source Jr. great man, excellent teacher hopefully you can check out his game his network channel watch all his videos, he's a really good instructor I didn't know anything about the game and I wanted to get better at it of course since it's such a good game and it's fun so I decided to go onto YouTube and find out the basics I didn't know how to make any tools, I didn't know what to do I just played the game and just did what I did and managed with what I did with what I had but Paul Soros Jr. once again taught me everything that I knew and I know now and I just want everybody to oh block off that water <laughs> now we know what's there and I just want everybody to go check out his channel that's a great guy good youtuber you know great teacher check out his videos he's pretty good I'm pretty sure I believe it might be nighttime at the moment. I will check that out. Oh. That way. Oh no, now I don't even know where I'm going right now. Okay. There we go. Oh uh, Yep, it is nighttime, so Monsters will be coming out at the moment. Scary thought, right? <laughs> so, right now I'm just trying to mine. See, it doesn't hurt collecting this stone or cobblestone. I'm trying to see if I could find some coal. Because with coal, then you'll be able to make torches and more necessary things and there is a number level wise because minecraft is made of l layers I'm guessing that's what it said on the wiki you can go to minecraft wiki dot net and it'll explain a lot of stuff about minecraft so it talks about how many layers there are in the world and it's some confusing things but I just keep on mining until I find what, I need, what I'm looking for just making a spiral staircase right now and as you see my hunger bar right there where the chicken bones are or the drumsticks however you want to call it uh, it is just a bleated one, so soon I'll be have to look for food. So then we could just mine straight across. Hopefully we'll find something, some sort of coal. Uh, go left now. So this video, you know, I'll be exploring the map too because this is the first time. Oh, and I've like, axe broke. And if you're in a shelter and it's really dark, like mine seems to be pretty dark, monsters might be able to spawn. So you just want to be cautious about that. They can spawn behind you, so just be cautious about everything. Just make a bridge across. Okay. Oh, I don't have any sticks left. Let's break this wood up more. Oh, actually, I do have sticks. So I don't even notice that. Alright. So. Now 
we can make better tools. Wood is so obsolete at the moment. Alright, and let's go back. Let's see if there was anything good in here. If I could just block it off. No. Just block this off right now. Sorry about for the lag. Alright. Now let's go back in mine. Yep, much faster now with the cobblestone pickaxe more efficient and as you go up with what kind of type of tool that you're using it degrades faster so like wood is the worst kind of tool you could have oh and this is coal right here perfect alright we found hopefully it's a good vine meaning yep, there's another one there another block what I meant by mine is like usually a vein there's whenever you find an item like coal there could be a lot around it and I guess Minecraft people want to call those veins so we found a good little vein of coal right here which is excellent that way we'll be able to light up the place by making torches I'll show you that in a moment oh yeah we found good coal here Alright. Alright, so coal and sticks are what it makes torches, and you can make that off your inventory. Just take sticks, sticks, put them on the bottom, put some coal on top, and you got torches. Got a good amount of those. Save the rest for later. And then we can light this place up. Don't want any mobs spawning behind us. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Cover that up. Alright. Oh. oh, let's cut into this. There we go. Put a torch there. So the kind of mobs, if you're not sure what and how many are there, uh, I would say there's probably five. I'll say them right now. There's creepers, which at the moment were, or before 1.0, actually 1.8 were the most destructive mobs that there were because if you get too close to them they will blow up a significant diameter around you and they will hurt you but then 1.8 came out and they decided to add endermen which are pretty crazy I haven't come into counter with any of them but I've seen videos of them and I hopefully don't want to find an enderman at all and I guess what they do, if you stare at them, they will keep staring at you until you look away. And when you turn around, or they'll pop in your face, and then they will blow up and kill you even faster. So they won't actually, actually blow up around, like blocks wise, but they'll attack you and they'll probably kill you. I think it was two hits. It is. So there are some powerful mobs, but then there's also skeletons who have arrows and will shoot you. Then zombies who just attack you normally, they're not ranged, skeletons are ranged. There are spiders who, if you later on in the series, when we learn more stuff, they can climb 
their um, shelter or fences and they do if you saw upstairs I put like this the doorway and then I left one opening they can't crawl through that but if I left it double they could climb through this so you're going to want to put one so that they can't enter and oh knocked out my own there we go So when my pick will break, I will be heading back upstairs. Alright, there we go. And I believe it should be daylight at the moment. Yes it is, alright. So we can head out and explore a bit more. I'll make another pick for our journey. And let's see what we can find. Want to make sure I remember how to get in here. Make a little step here. Oh, there's a spider. So the spider during the days, I don't know why, but they're calm. They don't attack you. But once at night, they get enraged, and if, like there, he could have attacked me if it was at night. Oh, and there's actually a creeper. And we want to stay away from him. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and jump into the water. Take no damage. And I'll take out the spider, because they drop string. Okay. And experience orbs, so... Did I get any string? No string. And creepers, if you are man if you manage to kill them, they give you gunpowder, which you can later make into TNT. Oh, and there's a bone. Oh, and some arrows. Perfect. That was most likely a skeleton. Skeletons and zombies catch on fire when daylight breaks up. So I'm not too sure if I want to attack this guy. Unless if I can manage to get him. See this. Oh. Alright, well, this is a tough one. There we go. And I'll go there. Oh, wow. This is a pretty deep cave here. Did not expect that. I'll just swim out of here. Oh, that was really deep. Okay. So the reason why I made that small little tower there is so I can find my way back to my shelter. When we explore a little bit too far. Don't want to get lost. Hmm. See what we're working with here. Oh no, this isn't a bad little island. At least we have a cave where we can get a lot of cobblestone. But I want to make my way off the island. That way we can find more trees. Because I want more wood. So, guess heading over there is probably a smart idea. And then, those are octopuses. Oh, some raw meat that just disappeared, alright. And you do need to eat, according to that hunger bar. So, we do have to find some sort of food source. So, I'm trying to look for more seeds. And I just got one. That way I can make bread. And with the bone marrow, it's good for plants. It's pretty much instant growth when you hit something. So, it's good. Make our little farm with water. 
Okay. How much time do you have? Alright. I'll finish collecting these seeds off and still have a lot of time left. Maybe we should have just moved on from here. Can't hit that tall grass. Alright, how much seeds? Alright, we'll have good enough seeds for a decent farm. I'm gonna collect these over here. Alright, well my sword broke. <laughs> now how to make another one. Okay. If our ancestors could do it, could do jobs this way, so can we, right? Everything with our hands, no technology back in the day. That's how pretty much Minecraft wants to start off. And that's how the world began, right? I'm guessing. I'm not a historian, so correct me on that if you guys want to. Wouldn't hurt. I don't mind learning new things. Okay, let's make a new click. And we'll just continue mining our underground over there. See if we find more coal. Who knows? Oh, did not want to make another pick. Wanted a sword. Got an extra pick, right? Okay. Makes our job easier. Good thing coal vein. Makes things much easier with coal. Gonna find some food pretty soon. You are able to eat the rotten meat that a zombie drops. However, you do become slightly, I guess you could say, poisoned or sick with it. So it's not the best food you can have. You can have, but if you have no other choice, yeah, then you have to make do with what you have. Yep, because I have no food here. So once the day comes about again, I'll have to go on and get some more food. Hopefully we find some chickens, pigs, or cows, any kind of food host, food source, sorry. Because there are no horses in this game. on the ground water. Alright, let's go check out what's upstairs. Hmm. Spiral staircase goes to you. Oh, alright, uh -huh. well, I believe it's just about to be dark. Yep, the sun is setting down. I'm gonna block off my entrance here. That way, if anything comes by, just whack back up. Learn that from Paul Source. Good technique. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop the video here. So I could just wait for daylight and see if I'll continue mining down there probably. So this is Apocalypse 706 signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Have a good time guys.